I don't know about you, but I can't believe that Advent is here, that the holiday season has arrived. I guess we should not be that surprised because there have been signs all around us. Stores have been filled with Christmas decoration and goodies for a week. They have stocked their shelves with toys and yummy seasonal foods like candy canes and eggnog and my favorite, peppermint ice cream. Hallmark has been showing Christmas movies nonstop since before Thanksgiving, and I mean nonstop. Radio stations have been adding Christmas songs to their playlist, and holiday lights can be seen all around town. The most joyous time of the year has arrived. But if we are not careful, if we pay attention to the wrong things, I'm afraid that we will miss out on the good news that this season proclaims. I'm afraid that we will miss out on what I call those God moments, those holy moments, those thin places that add meaning and purpose and hope and joy to our lives, regardless of what the world throws at us. Faith-filled moments. Our scripture for this morning and in the next two weeks centers on Mary, the mother of Jesus, our reading begins with Mary setting out to visit her relative Elizabeth in the Judean hill town, around 80 miles from her home in Nazareth of Galilee. What makes this meeting of these two women so remarkable is what they have in common. They are both pregnant, and both pregnancies are unusual and unexpected. Elizabeth is beyond childbearing age, and Mary is betrothed to Joseph and not yet married, both find themselves secluded, out of the eye of the public, and here perhaps is the key to the story. Both have found favor in God's eyes. It is Mary's faithful and joyful response to the news that she has found favor with God, even though it puts her in a difficult situation, but comes for us an example and an opportunity to examine our own relationship with the Lord, to examine our faith and our belief. Mary, young, sweet, innocent Mary, is told out of the blue by an angel that she was pregnant. And as I think it was Savannah said, that was a surprise. Imagine the implications for her. I think sometimes we just, just roll over this. She knew, Joseph would know, it wasn't theirs. Can you imagine trying to explain to him to make sense of what was taking place? I think, no, I am really sure that I would have cried. But Mary didn't. Instead, she asked a reasonable question. She says, how, Lord, how can this be? I am a virgin. She is told that she has found favor with God and that it was God's doing. And then she embraces the angel Gabriel's news, and thus the situation she finds herself to be in. You see, Mary's faith for us is a gift, a blessing, a glimpse of what it looks like to have a deep and abiding faith, what it actually means to let go and let God, that thing we like to say, but when it comes to actually doing it, how hard it is. It's not always an easy thing to glimpse God's promise, especially in these busy days before Christmas. It's much easier for us to see the things that the world is fond of seeing this time of the year, consumerism and busyness. If we are not careful, we will find ourselves so caught up in the tinsel and glitter constantly bombarding us that we will forget to pay attention to the things that really matter in life. Missing out on moments that allow us to experience the blessing of God. Who saw the sunrise this morning? Who looked at the clouds? Did you actually take in and smell the aroma of the coffee? Did you see the smile on the children's face? Did you greet someone that you haven't seen for a long time? 
If we are not careful, we will get swept up in the hectic pace and the added demand for our time and intention, allowing it to consume us, frustrate us, and ultimately, let me tell you, disappointing us. If we are not careful, we will miss that call for faithful service to our Lord. So often during this time of the year, I find myself restless and unsatisfied, deeply searching for all that it's Christmas is hyped up to be. We want it to be the most glorious time of the year. We want the magic and awe and wonder of the season. We want to be touched in powerful and life-changing ways. And yet, if we are not careful, we will get so caught up in all that goes on with the season, that spiritual discernment, the awareness of God's presence, the beauty around us, we will miss out on. It will pass us by. If we are not careful, we will miss out on those glimpses, those traces of God in our life, offering us hope and joy and peace and love. I am not so naive to think that this is easily done. I know that this is a time of the year that is hard, very hard for many people and for some of you who sit in the pew today. Places at the table will be empty during this holiday season. Hearts will be aching for times past, love lost, opportunities squandered. Days are literally and figuratively darker for too many folks. Life happens. And in an instant, we can find ourselves in a place we never dreamt we would be. But our faith reminds us that we are not alone that God is with us at all times and all places, telling us, do not be afraid. I am here. Do not be afraid. Though you might not know how you can make it through the day, you will, because I am here. Do not be afraid, because you're scared of what tomorrow will bring, because I am with you. God is always faithful, and that we can absolutely count on. Dorothy Bass tells a wonderful story of a mother who had a ran, rather um, ingenious way of teaching her children to be attentive to the signs of God's activity around them. At the end of each day, instead of asking her young kids, how was your day, or what did you do, she instead asked, where did you meet God today? And according to Bash, she said, and they would tell her one by one, a teacher who helped me, there was a homeless person in the park. I saw a tree mom that had lots of beautiful flowers on it. And then the mother would tell them where she met God. The stuff of the day had become the substance of prayer. During the season of Advent, we are reminded to pay attention. Pay attention to those around you. Pay attention to those little things that we take for granted. Pay attention to the ordinary blessings and the surprises that catch you totally off guard. Look for moments where God's light breaks through, even if it's only for a brief time. The darkness will never squelch the light. Seek out those moments. Ponder them. Savor them. Hold on to them tightly. Enter this Advent with your eyes wide open to the sounds and the signs of God's presence. May you be blessed during this Advent season in ways that you could never imagine. 
may you know in your heart that there is room for our Lord.